they keep dirty air filters. You know, so when they would say, hey, you know, it's time to change your air filter, they would show you one that wasn't the one from your vehicle. This afternoon, we get inside knowledge about shady tactics that could be used by your favorite auto shop and how they're not giving you the service that you're paying for. Those shady tactics under your car's hood cost all of us billions of dollars every year. Our hidden cameras expose the underhanded practices and CBS 46 investigative reporter Jennifer Emmert hits some oil change locations here in town to find out if claims of fraud from whistleblowers were in fact true. And you'll think twice before handing over your vehicle to have the oil changed once you see what our hidden cameras caught Atlanta mechanics doing or in two cases, not doing. Whistleblowers claim what's happening inside many metro area Haviland Express Lube stores is so wrong, they quit. I was in the pit one day. I was told not to change the oil or the oil filter the whole day. Here's what should happen when you get your oil changed. A mechanic removes the plug and the oil drains out. But at the Douglasville Haviland Express Lube, our hidden cameras catch this. Watch the red circle. Where's the mechanic? The oil plug is never touched. No oil is drained. Fast forward as the hood tech finishes up top. No oil is added. Our bill for an oil change we didn't get? $32.83. I've been to multiple shops. Same practice everywhere? Mm -hmm. Same thing. Over our two-month undercover investigation, CBS 46 wired six different vehicles with as many as five hidden cameras underneath, inside, and under the hood. Before each trip, our vehicle gets a thorough inspection at Gordy Tire on Hell Mill Road. And they should, of course, change the oil, replace the, the oil filter, check the air filter, and check your other fluids. And if they don't? Gaskets, gaskets could go, could blow if they're not lubricated. And if you don't change the filter, that can cause sludge buildup in your engine. Our next trip is into Haviland Express Lube's Marietta location. They change our oil, but overfill the car. What could overfilling a car with oil do? It can damage the seals, you can end up with oil leaks, and it's just very hard on the engine. We drive the same overfilled car into the Haviland Express Lube in Smyrna. Our cameras catch the action as they pull the oil filter, realize the oil is clean, drains them out, then put the plug back in midstream. Really, it should never happen. Under the hood, no oil is added. The attendant never mentions anything is wrong. Our bill, $24.32 for another oil change we don't get. And at the Haviland Express Lube on Chambly Dunwoody Road, they want $92 to change the oil and replace our air and cabin filters. We just do air filtering, and the cabin was the only two that we did suggest and change due to the condition of them. The verdict from our mechanic? You can see through it, and it looks perfectly good. I would not recommend replacing it for any reason. Our insiders say managers don't care if customers are hurt. Well, they don't care, but, in, you know, they just they hope it doesn't happen. It happened three times. I know of motors blowing up. Different shops, not the same shop. What happens when we confront Haviland managers with our findings? We'd like to talk to you about a car we brought in that didn't get the oil changed on it, and yet we were charged for an oil change? I have no idea what you're about. Um, if you'll come out here, I'll show you. In a CBS 46 exclusive, mechanics are exposed. A CBS 46 hidden camera investigation uncovers the deceptive practices some express oil change shops are using to trick you out of your money. Our hidden cameras caught mechanics charging you for work. They never did. And when we call them out on it, the blame game begins and pink slips are handed out. Consumer investigator Jennifer Emmert confronts shops and their questionable practices. I have no further comments. Dishonest. That's how insiders describe the practices beyond the bay doors of many Haviland Express Lube shops. I'm not changing oil, or only changing oil, not the filter. Uh, services such as a radiator flush, they wouldn't do them. They would sell it, but not actually do the service. In Douglasville, CBS 46's hidden cameras catch the action as our car rolls in for an oil change, costing $32.83. Watch the red circle. Where's the mechanic? No plug is pulled. No oil is drained. As the hood tech finishes up top, he pretends to put in oil. How could you put oil in the vehicle if there was none taken out? In Smyrna, they drained our oil, but never added any, charging us full price. The manager won't come out of the shop to talk with us. 
When the district manager arrives, we show him video of how two of his shops charged us but didn't change our oil. What do you think about the practices you're seeing at some of your shops? Uh, I think it's egregious. I think it's terrible, and I'm gl I'm, I'm, I'm not glad to see it, but I'm glad I, know I can see now so I can fix the problem. His fix, the managers in Smyrna and Douglasville, plus two other employees, are fired. Haviland Express Loop has an integrity agreement employees must sign weekly. They're supposed to notify supervisors or people above if they see any problems like that and so that we can fix this problem. We do not have it. Whistleblowers claim they tried, but their honesty was ignored. In fact, insiders say deceptive practices were encouraged by supervisors. One of my bosses had said, you know, oh, charge him $50 for that. And I was like, I'm not going to charge them $50 for a free service. And I was sent home for the day. They say the fraud went as far as code words for the deceptive practices. Whoever was up on top working the hood would yell, you know, give you a code word. Code word could be anything. Clear to point would be one of them, you know, and that would be they changed the filter but didn't drain the oil. When we question what would motivate employees to deceive customers, management's response. It has to be sheer laziness. There is no benefit to not changing oil. Zero. We budget to change oil. The fact that they're not is just absurd. Industry markup numbers we found dispute that. Not changing the oil or filter could double a company's profit. Yeah, I mean, it's wrong to take somebody's money for, for what? So they can put some more back in their pocket? So where does this leave Haviland Express Loop customers, who likely don't have hidden cameras, but get the same treatment? I would say I apologize if they feel that way, but we will fix it and we'll be, we will be better than ever. If you think you've been victimized or ripped off by this company, we want to hear from you. There's a link to my email when you read this story online. You can also tweet me. We also have some more tips on how you can protect yourself at CBS46.com. Hover over news and click on Investigates. Jennifer Emmert, CBS 46 News.